Hello, it's Tom from Black Toad Studios, and this is part four of Operation Trident. So, the week that's just gone, I have painted myself up this new squad of seven Scions. So, in this squad, I've got four Hotshot Fuller Guns, I've got a Melter Gun, I've got a Volley Gun, and of course, the Sergeant there with a very, there we go, can we see that, very blooded, a oh, bit out of focus, very blooded chainsaw, a bit of splatter up his arms as well. Uh, so, um, yep, that's my squad I painted this week. <coughs> Sorry if I sound a bit gra gritty this week, a bit gravelly. Uh, got myself a bit of a, a coldy flu, tonsillitis kind of situation going on. So, my apologies. And as well as squad's taking a bit of time. <coughs> so, like I said previously, these guys will be part of the airborne formation. Um, with three other squads and a command squad. So when these guys disembark from their Valkyries, they will gain themselves split fire and twin linked. So this is where the melter gun comes in handy, leaving the rest of the squad able to deal with infantry, hopefully. The melter gun comes in, bliss skill four, re-rolling misses. So hitting on freeze, re-rolling. So it's a good chance of doing some damage. Hopefully in range as well to use the uh, the uh, melter option, leaving the others to basically fire on any infantry squads and preserving them from being assaulted or small arms fire. So that's basically what these squads are built for. Taking out one, something big and nasty to start with, covering themselves and then moving on to objectives or moving in with crack grenades or just laying down some fire. So pretty brutal and hopefully, fingers crossed, quite effective as well. Um, this week coming I will uh, be painting something a bit differently but first let's see what the squad looks like with what we've got so far. Here we are, here's the uh, Kitrin Drakes at the moment. All the squads that I've painted up until this point. So at the front here we've got our command squad with the uh, melter gun, the two hotshot volley guns, the medic and the commissar, as well as the uh, <coughs> big man with a power fist. Behind we've got the three squads of scions, each armed pretty closely. I've got two squads of seven with volley guns and melter guns. And over here on the left we have got the plasma gun and the melter gun in that squad. So that is what I've got so far. These guys will be the the foot slogging part of the airborne. These guys will be the ones brave enough to jump out the Valkyries and uh, doing their stuff. So, like I said before, I'm really happy how they're turning out. Not quite commission standard, um, but they're my standard and they're battlefield standard, so that's all I care about. But um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Remember, if you've got any questions, please put them below in the comments and I will aim to answer them in the uh, next update. So, like I said, these are all the infantry for the airborne at the moment. So, of course, what does every airborne formation need? Valkyries. And let's have a look what I've got to paint this week. So this week, something a bit different. I'm not saying I was getting bored of painting Scions, but something a bit different now. So we've got a Valkyrie. Um, so in the formation that um, I've got so far, and also on my army list, I've got four Valkyries. Most of them are armed pretty much the same. I am going to try one out with the um, the missiles, the health strike missiles, because it's a bit different. Not many people use it, and in another video we'll go by the pros and the cons. But for this Valkyrie, we're armed with a multi-laser and two rocket pods. Now these rocket pods, um, I believe they're strength four, AP5 large blast. So with two of them, that's a fair bit of uh, uh, infantry clearance, hopefully, that's going to be popping down and causing some pain on the enemy. <clears throat> and that's really why I've taken these, because as you can see from the squads, they are pretty small, they've got some nice weapons, but unfortunately hotshot volley guns are only range 18, so I need some things to shoot from a distance and to thin out some herds. So if I was going, to get going against demons, with lots of little critters, necrons, orcs, other guard, 
even Tau to a degree. Something of a fair, fair bit of infantry. So, I mean, these armies vary. You can, of course, have a very elite Tau army, um, like most people do. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm going on a tangent. So, sorry, these rocket pods, missile pods, sorry, um, would be used to thin out the squads initially to drop the stormtroopers in and then after that they'll be used to support them to go around causing chaos and with a Valkyrie's armour hopefully kind of staying up in the air for a bit Valkyrie armour being 12, 12, 10 so that's pretty tough that's about that's average average to high I think for most flyers um, with the exception of marine and uh, chaos marine flyers which are a little bit tougher but Valkyrie cheap I think it's 135 points of this loadout with the missile pod and the multi laser so for them it's not really going to put that much of a dent and they're going to be quite handy taking squads from A to B can come out of fly, mo uh, <coughs> fly mode and coming into hover mode to contest and capture objectives so they've got their purposes and so this week I'm going to paint them up um, I'm going to try and keep some sort of theme going with the green and red um, hopefully I'll be writing bits on the side as well we'll see how that goes and yeah so Valkyrie number one let's see what it looks like next week so if you enjoyed this please comment like if you haven't already subscribe show your support and um, see you next time take care